Hi, my name is Lisa, and I'm the Fraud and Collection Supervisor here at MCCU. It's International Fraud Prevention Week, and I wanted to take the time to teach you about different types of scams. MCCU wants to help educate you on how to protect yourself. Did you know that one in 10 adults will fall victim to a scam or fraud? That's a lot. So we want to help prevent you from being the next victim. The first type of scam I want to review is check fraud. This is one we see all the time. Anytime you receive a check from someone you don't know, please be cautious. Things you might get a check for include selling something online, work from home jobs, winning a lottery, secret shopper jobs, or from someone you randomly met online. You should never cash a check you don't know where it came from or who is sending it to you. You can always have the teller put it on a 15 business day hold so that we can help you make sure the check is a good check before you do whatever you're doing with selling something. Anytime a person overpays you and wants you to send them the cash back via wiring or cash apps, don't do it. This is usually a big red flag that it is a scam. No one will overpay you on accident. Always chat with the teller when you have questions or suspicions about a check you receive. We can help guide you through the situation. The next scam is called romance scam. This is another one that is really popular. When you meet someone online, you become friends and then you start to chat over time, the relationship might advance and then that's when they're going to start asking you for financial favors. This includes cashing checks for them and then sending them the money. Sometimes they also could ask you to send them gift cards or gift card codes or wiring the funds to them. They might also ask you for your online banking information and mobile deposit a check into your account. Never accept checks from anyone that you don't know and then send them the money back. The first question you should ask yourself is why do they need you to cash the check for them? Why can't they cash it at their own financial institution? The third big one we're seeing right now is mobile deposit scams. Uh, so what happens is a scammer will ask you for your online banking information to mobile deposit a check into your account. Then they request that you send them the money through cash apps or wiring or any other way. They want you to send them the money as soon as possible so that before the credit union can verify that the check is bad, you've already sent the money. Well, we've also seen an increase in fake loan requests. What happens is a member will apply for an online loan with, with the fake company. They approve you for a loan, ask you for your online banking information, they mobile deposit a check into your account, and then they want you to send them the cash back then they will approve your loan and send you more money. This is not valid. No loan company will ask you for your online banking information and then make you send them money to then give you a loan. Never give out your online banking login information because you're giving them access to your whole account and they could steal any funds that you have in there besides just doing a mobile deposit. Some questions you should ask yourself is, does this sound too good to be true? If it does, it probably is. Nobody will give you free money. Does what they're asking makes any sense? Why can't they do the transaction themselves? How well do you know the person? And who's the check from? Is the check from the same people that you're talking to? Is it from the same company or is it just some random people or a random company that they have no ties to? Anytime you have questions about a situation, feel free to stop in to any one of our branches and chat with myself or any other staff member and we can help guide you to the best solution to help you prevent from being scammed. Thanks.